This video is going to briefly discuss the possible MS cures that I've read about that I want to bring to your attention. Uh, this is a very controversial subject and uh, the research is pretty new, but it's something that you may want to be aware of and look into with a lot more research, but I'm just going to give you some of the references briefly. Um, some of the main topics for these really natural cures, question mark, for multiple sclerosis have to do with diet and supplements. Uh, the diet uh, topic has to do with um, really the topic of the Paleolithic diet and a very uh, natural kind of whole foods diet. Um, there's someone named Dr. Terry Walls that I want you to uh, uh, use as a reference and you might want to look at her website that's terrywalls.com. She's a doctor that um, had multiple sclerosis and says she was cured. Um, and she has many lectures on the on YouTube. She's uh, done a few books, and she has her own website at terrywalls.com, where she's selling some of the books and videos. There was someone called Dr. Roy Swank, who back in 1950 kind of discussed similar topic of curing multiple sclerosis through diet. Um, it's kind of some of the early information. It's worth looking into, but it may be weak given um, that it is about 60 years old now. His web, that website is swankmsdiet.org. There's also a very good organization I'd like to lead you to. It's called www.lef.org. It has to do with the Life Extension Foundation. And they have really what I'll call a prescriptive kind of... They have a lot of great information, and they also have a lot of recommended supplements. Um, if you do research on multiple sclerosis, you'll find vitamin D and omega-3, things like fish oil, are two of the most common recommended supplements. Uh, vitamin D at the level, LEF says, of five to 8,000 a day. I've even read of studies um, 10 to 14,000 a day. And omega-3, which is fish oil, which is really good for the brain and the eyes. Um, you have to see it as far as how much they're recommending. And there's some other supplements that I've heard of that are pretty critical. B12, NAC, N-acetylcysteine, ALA, alpha-lipoic acid, curcumin, and a bunch of other things, but go to lef.org and look under, it's a rather uh, extensive website, you have to look under, I think, health concerns and look under multiple sclerosis. Um, if you have some comments, please uh, post them in YouTube over here, and we can have a discussion going and get your ideas on what you think of these programs, and if you think that they work for you or if you kind of think it's quackery. But uh, please state whether you've actually used some of these diets or supplements and for how long. Um, it, it takes a lot of effort and uh, a lot of people I know would really rather hope that the uh, pharmaceuticals work, but um, you could mention whether you think they work, but they seem to only work temporarily, and most people still are on decline. Uh, you also might want to research Montel Williams. Uh, he has a program where he's selling juice machines, and he has multiple sclerosis, and he says he's kind of holding steady, and he doesn't appear to have multiple sclerosis. So uh, please state your comments here, and good luck. Thank you.